each sweet thing they could find into the enormous mixing bowl. Gumdrops, marshmallows, candy corn, cinnamon hot, chewing gum, chocolate drops, butterscotch, liquor sticks, lollipops, sugar cubes, jelly beans, candy sprinkles, and cookies. Clouds of powdered sugar drifted out the windows. A chocolate tornado sprang up and rolled out the door. The mixing bowl began to glow. Fix your booze down the side. The windows poured the filling into the gigantic pie pan and whistled the crust into place. The crust began to move as the things inside were trying to get out. Pa shoved the pie into the oven and slammed the door. As the oven warmed, the heat wave hit a hole in the sheet. A two out of one word was school, so everyone just stayed home. By noon, the delicious smell of my Brindle's sweet cream pie blanketed the neighbors with a blissful aroma. It was so hot, all the air conditioners stopped working. As the sun set, the sweet cream pie ground. It was too hot to eat lunch, so everyone just picked their fire. That evening, all the neighbors stopped by the Brindle's house. Pa set up the tables and invited everyone to stay and share the special dessert. Pa, Brindle, and Johnny Nuts carried the pile in. <clears throat> Sit it down. Ma cut the pie as the neighbors lined up. Don't eat too much, Ma kept saying. Only one piece, or you'll be sorry. But Melinda said, you'll have second, third, and even fourth. Even Pa, Brindle broke his promise. When the last one was eaten, a hush fell into the tree. Suddenly, everyone wanted to go home and go to bed. Bob with no sugar in the sea. After all that sweetness, no one will rest well tonight. That is when all the dreaming began. Dreams of every size, shape, and color drifted up from the dreamers and began to sport and play. Bing! Bob and had never seen so many wild dreams. They were everywhere, doing things they shouldn't even do. Bob grabbed her broom and began to sweep, sweep, sweep until she had swept away every last room from Willie Street, and all the junior scientists were leaving. <sighs> and so then, for a good night's sleep. I like this book so much because I like candy. It tastes so delicious. But mostly what hypnotized me was when the dreams popped out. Another part that I liked was when Pa Brindle and Ma Brindle were making a sweet dream pie. Thanks for listening to Sweet Dream Pie.